Hello you amazing hackers, hope you're all doing well today. You guys asked me to make a video about business logic flaws, so let's get right into it, shall we? Here are five different types of business logic flaws and some examples for them. So let's start off right away with number five, shall we? Uh, number five is privileges are stored client side. Now, what do I mean by that? Say, for example, you create an account on a website and that website has two different account types. So you've got a customer and you've got an administrator. And when you go to your account settings, you see if, uh, your account settings as regular, but there's also a hidden field and a hidden field contains a value admin equals true or false. Now, if that hidden field is put to true instead of false, you suddenly and you save your settings, you become an administrator. So, those are that's for an example of a privilege that's stored client side. So you have control over that privilege from the client, which you're not supposed to be able to have control over. That's one example I can give you guys. Um, now on to number four, that would be a business constraint bypass. Now, what do I mean by that? Um, this might sound like a stupid example, but this is exactly what I've been able to do on this website um, and it didn't have bug bounty program, so I only got coupon codes, but still I got coupon codes. And what's funny about that story is I got them by being able to apply a coupon code more than once. So I would enter the coupon code, I would hit apply and I would keep applying that same coupon code until I had no money left to pay like a few cents and i sent it into them and they gave me a, a few free coupons so i really uh, got my money's worth you could say um which would bring me on to number three which would be cookie tampering now an example of that which i can give is uh, once i found a website where a user id was stored in the cookies and when you change that user id you could just log in as anybody it didn't it was just a plain text number well it was encrypted but it was just base 64 encoded so that was all you could just simply decode it see that was a random number and you could just change that number encrypt it again or encode it i mean and then just paste it back into the cookie so that's another example of a business logic flaw now on to number two which would be javascript logic bypasses now this one is a little bit more complicated now you can usually uh, notice this one by just going to burp and looking at your request and your responses and you can change them there but um, what sometimes might happen is that javascript functions will do calculations with all of the stuff that you see on screen so for example if you want to calculate an expense you're going to have to take the amount and you're going to have to multiply that by the price so let's say that's a javascript function um, you can um, modify that JavaScript function to give a different price based on the inputs. So for example, if I had one product and it cost $10 as an expense, I can still make the output of the JavaScript function $100 and I could send both uh, the input values that I received. So I could say um, number one and value 10 and then I could say repay equals 100. And when I send that to my server, um, if it doesn't check properly, it might just uh, accept that repay of $100. And there we go, I'm suddenly $90 richer than I should be. So that's also an example of a business logic flaw. Now on to number one, which would be business flow bypasses. Now this one might be a little bit obscure. Uh, what I mean by a business flow bypass is say for example, you have a product on your website and this product only goes on sale at midnight or on January the 1st of 2021. Let's say somebody's able to order that product before that specific date by just disabling the client side uh, authentication by just doing that they can order the product way ahead of date and that makes it very vulnerable of course you don't want that to happen because there is a reason why they set these specific dates now another example i can give you guys is coupon codes that are only applicable at certain dates or if you spend more than a thousand dollars your bank has to do a fraud check for example uh, maybe you can bypass that fraud check that would be really really serious of course so as you can see there are a lot of different ways to bypass business logic flaws if you guys have any leave them down in the comments below because i'm really interested to learn what you guys think about this uh, i would also like to 
tell you guys that there are way more attack factors available than I've mentioned in this video. I'll leave you guys a document on where you can find more in the description below. For now, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye everybody.